The topic of this video is constructing a model using variation. We begin with three definitions. Definition 1. Let x and y denote two quantities. Then y varies directly with x, or, said another way, y is directly proportional to x, if there is a non-zero constant k such that y equals kx. The number k is called the constant of proportionality. Let's talk about how we might see something like this in the real world. First of all, when we say that x and y denote quantities, those are things in the world that we can measure with numbers. For example, y might be the amount of money that we spend. We can measure that with a number. And x might be the number of bags of potato chips that we purchase. We can measure that with a number. In fact, we can write a variation equation involving that situation. For example, if y is the amount of money spent, if k is the price per bag of chips, and if x is the number of bags of chips, then y equals kx, money spent equals price per bag times number of bags. We can say that y is directly proportional to x. The amount of money that you spend is directly proportional to the number of bags of chips you purchase. All right, next definition. Let x and y denote two quantities. Then y varies inversely with x, or said another way, y is inversely proportional to x, if there is a non-zero constant k such that y equals k divided by x. The number k is still called the constant of proportionality. Okay, let's think about a real world example of this type of variation. Let's say you're taking a trip. We'll let y represent the time to get to your destination. K will represent the distance that you have to travel and x represents the speed at which you get there. Those three things are all quantities. They can all be measured with numbers. And specifically, y equals k over x. The time it takes to get to your destination is equal to the distance divided by the speed. We can say the travel time is inversely proportional to the speed. In other words, the faster you go, the less time it takes. The slower you go, the more time it takes. All right, final definition. When a variable quantity q is proportional to two or more other variables, we say that q varies jointly with these quantities. And for the purposes of this video and this class, when we see jointly, we are to assume that that means they are varying jointly and directly which means that these quantities will go in the numerator, as we will see in our multi-step process below. All right, so now we're going to look at a six-step process for creating a variation model. A model using variation relates two or more quantities or expressions. To construct a model using variation, follow these steps. Step one, write the quantity or expression that varies, followed by an equals sign. Step two, write the constant of variation, sometimes referred to as the constant of proportionality, k, in the numerator of a fraction. Step three, write the other quantities or expressions in the fraction. If the word directly is used, then that quantity goes in the numerator where it is being multiplied with k. If the word inversely is used, then that quantity goes in the denominator. If the word jointly is used, then it will be followed by two or more quantities, and they both or all are going to go in the numerator where they are multiplying k. Step four, if necessary, replace an empty denominator with a one. Now some problems will be done at the end of these four steps, but others require you to go further. Step five, if required by the problem, replace all variables except k with numbers and solve for k. Step six, if required by the problem, replace all variables except one with numbers and solve for the value of the missing variable. By going through these steps, we can represent relationships among real world quantities and allow ourselves to create equations that allow us to predict the future.